Let's turn to your weather news now. A live look at Mount Hood from our Skeeple camera. Beautiful view there. The pandemic plus nicer weather recently is drawing more people up to Mount Hood, but search and rescuers warn of dangerous conditions above the tree line. Last week, four people had to be rescued from the mountain. That's right. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel joins us live with the warning tonight. She also checked back in with someone who knows what it's like to need help near the summit. Audrey? Wayne, it has been quite a while since Mary Grimm spent six nights alone on Mount Hood before she was rescued, but it is not something you would easily forget. Now tonight, she outlined for us the mistake she made then as rescuers explained what makes climbing the mountain so difficult right now. Let's go back to 2013 for a moment. The National Guard to the rescue for then George Fox student Mary Owen, who'd spent six nights cold, tired, and injured on Mount Hood. Before that event, I had a very deep hunger for uh, hair-raising experiences. <laughs> I guess I was an adrenaline junkie. She now has the last name Grimm and lives in Papua New Guinea, where she does mission work with her family. But her harrowing experience is still fresh on her mind because she recently recounted it all for a book her mom wrote. I would say that it definitely has stuck with me. I still have a good scar from the experience and my toes still have some frostbite damage that I'm reminded of whenever they get cold. She was set to climb with a guide who canceled because of the conditions. She decided to go anyway, got into a whiteout, became disoriented and fell trying to get out of a canyon. She initially thought she was going to die and even recorded a goodbye message for her parents. I wasn't exactly resigned to the idea, but I sort of figured that's what happens. She tells us for her, the whole thing was a deeply spiritual experience, and that's what's had the greatest impact on her life. Her climb was in the spring, but in the nearly 10 years since then, Portland Mountain Rescue leader Mark Morford tells us winter climbing has become more common, especially with the pandemic. 2021, uh, when so many things were shut down and the options for getting out were limited, Wow, step change increase in the number of backcountry skiers, backcountry snowboarders on hood in the winter. He says that change has stuck. The problem is on the clear days when people go up, the snow is melting and the wind freezes it into ice. Mount Hood's a, a, you know, a technical objective any time of year, but in the winter, no margin for error. It's cold, so if you get injured or lost and you're stationary, hypothermia moves in much faster. The weather can change instantly, and when it does, it's stormy and windy, and, and, and that can be disastrous for you. Rescuers were luckily able to get to the four people who got stuck on the mountain last week, but they want everyone to be aware of the conditions and be safe. And believe it or not, Grimm actually summited Mount Hood a few years after her rescue with her husband. Now, her advice for any climbers is not to go alone like she did. And don't force a climb when the timing isn't right. The rescuers say know your skill level and check conditions ahead of time, like with resources like the Northwest Avalanche Center. Reporting live from the Mobile Newsroom, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.